Are you tired of high pressure tactics? No, I'm not gonna sign that, it's too much. At Community Auto Group, you'll find we have a straightforward approach. If other dealers have made you uncomfortable, give Community a try. You'll enjoy your experience here and find a straightforward deal that's right for you, not high pressure tactics. Community Auto Group, straightforward deals from the straightforward dealer. Janice finally caught up with me uh, this afternoon and she's been wanting to talk about, uh, she seems to be, uh, or has uh, something to discuss about the, our mayor, Eric Bookmeyer. And uh, Janice, the, the floor is yours. Uh, tell the public what's going on. Well, as everybody knows, I've kind of been around for quite a while. And I talked about the Bancho for a long time. I didn't want to see it destroyed. Um, other towns saved their things, and I just felt we've torn too many buildings down of various types. Um, when Bookmeyer, Mr. Bookmeyer, or Mayor Bookmeyer, came to town, he was very, very interested in, in uh, talking to me. He wanted me to support him. And I just was not buying it. Well, this went on for quite a while. We even at the uh, movies. And I just wasn't buying it. I give him quite a bad time. So one day a while back, I decided maybe I better be nice to him and apologize. And, you know, I've been rather nasty but it got the job done, but it wasn't very nice of me. And I thought, well, since I'm in this community, uh, I need to step up and, and tell him I'm sorry. And then one day I told him I thought he was gaining weight at one of the council meetings, just before the meeting. Well, that wasn't very nice either. And, uh, so I apologize for both things. He immediately called up Diane. He wanted to let me share with the public what was going on with the band show. Now he called city clerk Diana Black and was going to put you on a council agenda so that you could have your eight minutes. Yeah, because after all, Hickey could only give me five minutes. And, and the mayor told you this, that he would be able to give you eight versus Travis's five. Right, okay. and he could only put me on four times a year. Now, hold, hold, hold on. Now, wait a minute. He would only allow you to speak four times per year. Four times a year. Now, you've spoken more than that in the past. Really, I thought I spoke too much. I thought maybe people were sick of me. But, you know, pretty soon money started coming in. 250, 500. I gave 500 to start because I was very, very upset about buildings being torn down. And I felt, after all, that band shell is a um, historical building. We're all about Meredith Wilson. Meredith Wilson played there. We have pictures of it. And we have quite a scrapbook, by the way, that I'd like to share with the public. One of these days, we're going to do that. And uh, I just was very upset. And one of the foundations donated 150000 to build a new pavilion. But that didn't come to be. We were successful. Wonderful people stepped up in the city and in the preservation groups and the park board and various people. And after I donated 500, money started coming in. Small amounts, big amounts. It was just fabulous. One day I opened the mailbox and there was a check for $500. And when I talked to Mr. and Mrs. Burgle, of all things, it was at the Dollar Tree stopped by they said and I was very very honored to be in their home mm -hmm. they gave me a check for a thousand dollars 
he wasn't very well at the time and uh, we just had a lovely visit mm -hmm. about Mason City and and their plans it was just fabulous well I hadn't talked for quite a while so I decided I called Mr. Hickey and I wasn't able to get a hold of him but I left a message that I'd like to talk about the band show well then unexpected I ran into Mr. Bookmeyer and as I said I went through the apology and he called Diane and she was unable to get me on that night or the next night it was too late she already had it scheduled. you ran into Bookmeyer on a Monday and he, she couldn't get you on the next day right right at the community kitchen certainly so um, I have a lot of friends there so um, he had stopped by and I just started visiting with him apologized to him and told him I'd really been nasty and my daughter really got after me for telling him I thought he'd gained some weight after all I'm not any slim person myself so um, then um, at the next council meeting the very next night I told him I was really disappointed and I said you know I'm kind of sick of your rules I said you got five minute rules you don't hardly open up your mouth to let us know what's going on your sound system isn't very good people complain and I pointed out to you it isn't just old people that have trouble hearing sometimes young people do so it wasn't just because I was old anyway you wouldn't let me talk and some of the council people were standing there and I didn't care I just told them what I told you what I thought certainly well then um, the next I was scheduled to be on he told Diane that I was to be on the very next council meeting okay and I got a phone call lo and behold this morning from Diane and she said that she forgot to put me on the agenda but I could talk in August well I didn't feel very good about that Mm -hmm. And I've got a lot of people asking me where the, where we're coming with the band show. They have been. Absolutely. And after all, we've worked very hard. Craig Benaboos is in charge of the movies. What are we going to do? Announce it when they're over? That's right. Looks like you've already got a movie coming up here July 20th. Who's going to tell the public that you've got uh, this event happening? Right. If not, if not you, who? Right. And we can we got a lot of money. Kevin got some of the um, movies donated, let them pick out their own movie. My little great grandson picked out The Ghost and Mr. Chicken. My son Kevin paid for the movie. Then we come along with some other ones, and there were various companies, yes, individuals. Yes. Some were lumped together. We said, I asked various people uh, if they would donate. Yes. And maybe they couldn't pay for the whole movie. Mm -hmm. But Craig's very good about lumping things together to get the movies paid for. And yesterday, my daughter informed me another contribution came in. So that's pretty cool. And... Um, I just feel August won't do. The people need to know what's going on in this town. And you know, when when Bookmeyer first came here, I thought of him like a snake oil salesman. Uh, some of us, maybe just mostly little people, are tired of being told they can only talk five minutes. They can only talk four times a year. Other groups are 
announcing things. I think the public is very well informed of all the wonderful things that are going on in Mason City right now. There's something for everybody. You can't cover them all, but they sure were asking about where the band show was coming. And I just felt an obligation to tell them. And I'm really, really disappointed that our mayor cannot let everyone announce what's coming on. And he informed me that if we, if I got any more contributions, he'd do the announcing. And I said, Mayor, no, I will. Okay, Janice, go ahead and tell us about Bookmeyer's rules on how you can talk about the band shell fundraising. You know, at the council meeting, after um, it was already scheduled and I couldn't talk, I went to that council meeting. I intend to be at all of them now if I possibly can, God willing. Mm -hmm. And uh, you kind of miss out if you're not there. Lots of times you don't hear things, see things. But the mayor told me that I couldn't talk only four times a year. And on top of that, if I raised any more money, he was going to announce it. I said, no, I will announce it. And if this is my opportunity to tell people how the band shell's coming. If I can't talk at the council meeting, I have to try to play games to figure out how to let people know, then I'll just go a different way. And I told Diane that this morning. Now, lo and behold, I can't talk tonight. Two council meetings in a row, and August, hey, I got a birthday coming up in August. I'm gonna have another birthday coming along. And I don't want to wait till all the movies are over, all the money that's been contributed. Some wonderful, wonderful people gave some nice checks yes. to help us with the movies. We even intended to try to give free popcorn and free pop. And I'm, we'll just have to see if we're able to do it. <laughs>